Finally, we're getting World Grand Prix pennies this year. Finally, man. It took Mattel, what, five years? Movie came out in 2011. It took them five years to finally release these pennies. Five years, Mattel. Five years. Did they? Re I think they released the Pissing Cup pennies like the first two years or something. Mattel, seriously, five years. Waste the Pissing Cup pennies. Collectors have been waiting for these for like ever. Forever. 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 Anyways, the good news is, we're getting them, and we're starting off with Jeff Corvette's Pity, who's eight, and he's in a two-pack with John last time, so they're eight and nine out of nine cars in a series. And on the back, you have, um, Daniel Gearsley's Pity, Francesco's Pity, we're getting a Francesco Pity, Sudo Rookie's Pity, McGill Camino's Pity, and looks like Raul's is in the background, I believe we're getting Raul's as well, along with Max Chanel, so I believe we're getting around four Pities this year. Now... It's a, he, they're in the World Grand Prix Picture Series, and one complaint I have is I wish Jeff Corvette's Pity got a name. I wish they could have named it something. Like, they gave names to some of the Piston Cup Pities, like Petrol Pulaski and um, Hugo Fast and Dudley Spare. I wish they named that Pity. They also gave names to the Plains Pities, like Sancho, I think, was Antonio's Pity, and Gills, or, I think that was Van Der Bar's Pity. Um... And unfortunately, they didn't give names to Jeff. The I'm not sure if we'll get names for Francesco's pity, Raul's pity, and Max Chanel's pity. But we unfortunately didn't get a name for Jeff Corvette's pity. On the back, you have the Jeff Corvette and John Last Hour 2 pack. Uh, Jeff Corvette pity, John Last Hour 2 pack. Autobahn and Giuseppe Motors. I have Autobahn in my uh, videos up. And on the back, you can see a better picture of Nigel Gilsey. There's Francesco's pity. Austin Littletop, who got a release. Um, Sue, you can kind of see the heads of Sue's pities there. And the description for the series is, Behind every famous World Grand Prix racer, racing is a pit crew skilled in racing know-how. Their mission? Get the racer across the finish line first. Well, that's kind of an... Well, no, it's not an acro. I'm just saying they can't, like, they can't literally push him across the finish line. They can change tires for him pretty quick, and the crew chief can tell him how to drive better so he can win. So I guess that kind of really doesn't. That kind of is fifty makes sense. Fifty percent makes sense. Fifty percent kind of doesn't. So, but I'll be back with the package with the cars out of the package. Now I already have John Lasseter tire, so seven ninety nine, which is the Amazon price. Seven ninety nine for a pity, yeah, that's kind of a little high. But then again, they're two packs, and I don't know. Maybe Mattel could have released two of the pities, like the Mater and Sushi Chefs um pack. They could have released two pities, maybe. <laughs> Make it more worth its price because I already have John last time, so do a lot of collectors. Yes, yeah, some people don't, but <clears throat> I'm just saying a lot of collectors do. I'm not gonna go really over John last. I already have him, and he's a re release. Just a pickup, and based after John Lasseter, who made Cars 2 or Cars 1, Cars 2, I think he's a director or something. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's a director, but he made Cars and Cars 2. John Lasseter. Um. I think he was like the co something. He helped make planes and planes fire and rescue. He wasn't really the director, but he made help them. He made he helped make them. There we go. And he's gonna I think produce cars. Yeah, he's he's like the director. So no last no license plate there. And just Jeff Gobert features. There's a flag detail. Now we get on to the pity, which are pretty cool. They have the headphones, which one, they might be for because the cars are too loud. Like, I watched NASCAR and I went to a race once. The cars were really loud. You like you really need headphones, and you can still you can pretty much still hear the cars because they're really 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 loud. So one that might be that, and another he might be listening, but he never talks to the um Jeff Corvette, but he listens to the communication between John Lasseter and Jeff Corvette. So very nice. His backwards hat is really cool. I believe all the pennies we're getting are different model because they're from different countries. So Francesco's pity is like a pity that goes in here and then back out because it's like an Italian pity. Really cool that we finally got World Grand Prix pitties. And they're like actually like cheddar, kind of cheddar yellow kind of. 
cheese yellow, I like to call it cheddar yellow kind of. I'm not here, but on the camera, they're showing up yellow yellow, so but they're kind of cheddar yellow. And Jeff Corvette, it's like, yeah, I mean, if you have these, you kind of know what I mean. Um, let's just get out with a toolbox for now. Okay, maybe not. Um, World Grand Prix 24, that's pretty much it. It's stationary, same. I don't know if these actually appear in, um, in the movie. It's the same as the Piston Cup ones, just different decals. I'm not sure if they actually appear in the movie. Um, well, let's see, I'm just looking at the car art back here. I don't know. I don't think they ever appeared in the movie, but Mattel decided to release it anyways, even though I don't think it ever appeared in the movie. Kinda, uh, his expression is really nice. Like when you take it from here, kind of at first glance, it looks like a he's like frowning a bit or something, but then he it looks like he's smiling. Like he has a weird expression, kind of like a yes and no expression. But when you look at it here, he's smiling. Then the backwards hat is really really cool. Um, then you have the American flag down here, and the American flag and World Grand Prix logo, pretty much the same as John Ross tires over here. On the side, the back, nothing, just yellow. And the headphones are yellow, and the cap is blue and red with stripe stars. That's pretty cool. Um, out of this two pack, I definitely preferred Jeff Gorman's Pity because I already have John Laster. And which of these two packs do you like more? John Laster and Jeff Gorman's Pity? Or Michelle Morata and Heather Driving? Which two packs do you like more? I would say I like the Heather Driving and Michelle Morata pack because both these are new releases. And, well, these are the re releases. But we're not talking about Heather Driving and Michelle Morata today. We're talking about these guys. And the, my favorite out of this two pack is this guy because he's a new release. Sorry, John last time, but you've already been released. Now it's Jeff Gorman's Pity's turn. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.